Right, hi there. Uh, the other day I had someone ask me a question about this lathe and about a quick change tool post and he was saying that he couldn't find a quick change tool post to fit it. Uh, unfortunately, you're not probably going to find one which will directly fit it. Um, you're going to have to do some modification to it. So I've actually got uh, two quick change tool posts for this because I uh, modified my old quick change tool post off my um, old lathe uh, to fit this as well before I brought this uh, one here um, and I also had to modify this uh, just one of those things that you're gonna have to do unfortunately I went for the small smaller sized uh, quick change tool post uh, simply because I didn't really want a massive tool post and these wedge type style ones uh, they are super rigid and yeah they're pretty much the um, best ones to go for if you're going to go for a quick change tool post. So yeah, let's take a look at it and I'll show you uh, what I've done to fit it actually on the lathe and the parts that I had the machine. Okay, so this is the wedge style quick change tool post. Um, this is a 250-000 model. I believe you can get this from, is it called Little Machine Shop as well? And you can get it from various other places. You've got the lever here to unlock it and it's all steel this one is so it's very rigid tool post and a lot more rigid than the uh, Chinese aluminium one which I had but although saying that the aluminium Chinese one was you know just as good done the job so this one here uh, if I just loosen this off at the moment it's still I still haven't uh, made a long enough um, thread to go through here for the tool post to lock down on so it's only actually holding on a couple of threads but I haven't had any problems with it so far uh, I've just got to get around to doing that but as you can see here this is the uh, wedge style one these are a lot better tool posts so I would definitely recommend getting this style rather than the piston style uh, just because this completely locks locks your tool holder in place and there's not going to be any movement whatsoever whereas on the piston style ones you can sometimes get a little bit of movement up and down like this it will jiggle side to side and that can cause chattering so that's the reason why I went for this one and I went for the small one as well I prefer the small one over a big one um, it's still big enough it's you know it's still rigid enough for this size machine uh, absolutely no problem so yeah that goes on there and then you can see this little wedge here when you pull this and you go to lock it up that wedges and pushes out so there's no chance of having any chatter on the um, tool post and that works really well so now getting on to how I machined it uh, one thing I would suggest actually is um, I've got one of these little thrust bearings which I put on the top of all my tool posts because that stops you actually marring up the top of the um, tool post and damaging it over time when you tighten the nut down onto it and uh, yeah they really help and plus with this you can lock it down a lot tighter as well and you're still able to easily get it open when you need to it doesn't get stuck there <coughs> so the tool post I didn't have to do anything to at all so that comes off it's completely unmodified that's how it came so the bit that I had to modify was you get this plate with it here this little metal plate and that had just a small threaded hole in it I think it was a threaded hole what it had in there so I literally because this lathe here has got this little shoulder and didn't get it quite super tight but it's tight enough it will turn around nicely it doesn't move too much uh, I could have done a better job but oh well uh, also I had to turn it down in the lathe because it was too thick you've got to get it just to the right thickness I'll just check that with the calipers quickly so yeah the thickness of this piece here 6.6 millimeters I did have to, I think that was, I think it was 10 mil, I think. I think it was anyway, so I had to turn quite a bit off it. 
So yeah, that's pretty much all I had to do to this tool post to make it fit. It was uh, pretty simple really. <clears throat> uh, the bigger tool post, if you buy that, uh, I've heard other people, you actually have to uh, modify the bottom of the tool post and apparently it's uh, pretty close and I don't think I'd really want to do that to you know, it's, I mean, they're quite expensive these tool posts, and I wouldn't really want to buy one and wreck it. Uh, I know what my luck's like, so that's why I decided to do that plate instead. It just makes it a lot easier. I'll put a link in the description to where I got this tool post from, and a link to uh, the ones on I think it's Little Machine Shop. So I'll just take this off and show you the other tool post. This is the Chinese tool post. And with this tool post here, um, unfortunately you've got to actually drill the um, hole out which is on the bottom here to the size of the shoulder on here. So once that's done, there's actually, uh, you can no longer actually use the tool post because inside here, A minute it goes down to a shoulder and now the actual piece which locks and tightens the um, tool post down is the same size so it will fall through so what I had to do was make a washer well I had to actually I had to put two washers in here because um I didn't get it the right size the first time so yeah I had to drill this out to the size of this shoulder and then I had to make some washers to fit inside here. It was supposed to be one washer, but I messed up somehow. I don't know how I managed to, but I did. So now these are two washers that I made. But yeah, they fit inside there. And then that can go in there. And that, and then this bit pushes down onto those washers. Right, so once you've actually installed those washers inside this tool post, you will find that this is going to be too long and you're going to need to take some material off the bottom here, the thickness of the actual washers, but not too much, because if you take too much off, it will completely lock the tool post up and you won't be able to um, undo, undo the um, tool holder. It will be completely locked solid. To lock the tool post in place and still allowing you to untighten and um, lock the tool post up. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple to modify these to fit on here actually, because I've got two lathes. Um, instead of keep switching them over, right, that's the only reason why I brought this, and I got this at quite a good price actually, so that was the other reason why I brought this. I was pretty lucky and got a good deal on it. <coughs> it does come with five tool holders as well. But I'll put links in the description to both of these, uh, just in case anybody's interested in buying them. But yeah, it's pretty simple to adapt them onto this lathe. You know, just take your time. Yeah, so I ha hope that helps somebody. And uh, yeah, thanks very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.